there was a shop in my cousin so it and then I would go there, steal my vanilla essence. I used to have this jacket, steal my vanilla essence. I never knew what I was doing. But as I grew, I understand Wuti. This thing has always been itching in me. The passion of cooking has always been itching me. It's been haunting me. And when I discovered that, I was like, yes, I found me. I'm an extrovert. I'm I'm passionate about my career as a chef. I'm an entrepreneur in spirit. When I got to high school, I decided to go and study hospitality at college. Finish off, I started working. It grew from then and then I pursued my education and pursued my career. I worked for Protea Hotels, for Melrose Art Hotel. I've worked at the Reeves Caterers as part of FedEx and Sebo Caterers. And then I worked basically there for about five years. And that's what, that was my goal, was like, wait for five years, five years you retire. So I, re I resigned on the 28th of February this year, 2015. From there, six months later, I'm here. Like I've never had a burger like that. Like I'm not a, a, a chicken freak, but when it got to Tulane's burger, like I was like, yeah, this is the patty that I want and the burger. The way it's made, I really like it. My grandma, Nasir is a Makishin. Hey, the woman, but she used to cook up a storm. She would make a rice, a rice pudding, and then she would put a whole lot of different sweets in the food. And she used to come back home, Masakaya, over the weekend. She cooks for my mom. And the family would storm up the food they would be eating. Christmas time, hey, the woman was a show off, Baba. She would go around showing people which I made the best meal. And everyone was used to come to my grandma's house. My mom developed the same thing always involve me when she's cooking she would come home me take make me taste the food should she add salt should she add sugar is it sweet enough that's how it, it grew in me from when we were kids you know it's cool so okay we've been friends for the longest of time when he started i was a bit skeptical because i went to and all that but when I saw the response around enjoying his food and enjoying what he, what, what he serves. Yeah, I think it's something new, something great, something with a lot of potential. It can grow and become something big. Because he makes them with love and he enjoys what the he chips. does. As you can see for yourself guys, the chips. <laughs> Delicious. As I told you before with the chips. Someone when I was growing up said to me, do something you love, you'll never work a day in your life. And for me, it's always been that. I did what I love and I don't feel like I've been working. The past five years for me, I was basically focusing on grooming my career and grooming my skill as a chef. And each and every day in the kitchen has been quite fun for me. It has been enjoyment for me, it's been fulfilling for me. Mm -hmm.